Good afternoon. I'm Emily Boha. I'm an admissions counselor here at Southeastern, and today I'll just be talking a little bit about orientation. Um, <clears throat> that seems to be the bulk of our questions as admissions counselors right now, um, working remotely and um, kind of what's next for our beginning freshmen as you guys start for the fall semester. Um, if you have any questions about orientation, make sure to drop them in the comment section. Um, I'll try to read through those as I go through this live. Um, but again, this will be saved for later use on our admissions live page, southeastern.edu slash admissions with an S live, L-I-V-E. Um, but I am going to go over a few things with orientation. It's going to be short and simple. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments. Um, so orientation emails will go will be sent out or have already been sent out to our fully admitted students. So if you are a student, you've applied to Southeastern and you've already been fully admitted to the university, you guys should have an email um, about orientation um, or orientation access within Moodle. Um, so I'll go over a few things with you guys. Orientation emails come in three parts initially. The first one being once you've been accepted, the first one is going to be a pre-orientation email. In this pre-orientation email, it clearly states that you guys will be receiving access to orientation via your um, application date as well as your acceptance date. Your fully acceptance, fully admitted date is when you guys um, are going to be able to receive that access. So if you were, you know, fully admitted back in September of 2019, you should already have access to your orientation. Um, if you were fully admitted in December, you should have access to the orientation as well. If you guys were admitted closer to May and sometime around this time now, um, you guys, your orientation access will be coming within the next few weeks. So make sure that you're checking your personal email address. Um, these will, these orientation emails will go to your personal emails on um, whatever you put on your application. If you're not sure of that, you can reach out to your recruiter to see which email was it sent to um, or what email you have for your application and we can double check that for you. Um, in the pre-orientation email, this will have a few steps that you need to take um, or even just read up on about um, kind of like what's next with the access to orientation. So to get access to that, um, you do have to be able to log in to Moodle. So Moodle is something you use as a student here at Southeastern. Most of your professors will be using Moodle to post assignments or quizzes, um, most of your syllabus, what you'll be learning each week. Um, so the reason we chose Moodle to do orientation through is so that you as a future student can be used to Moodle already before you start classes in the fall. Um, the pre-orientation email um, also has, you know, if you need to change your major or confirming your major. Another thing is to make sure that you can log into Leonet. Leonet is something you use to register for classes. You'll also be able to see your tuition amounts once those are posted on there. You'll also be able to see your financial aid. Your TOPS amounts will be posted on there when we receive the roster for TOPS. And then also to scholarships and a few other things, how you register your vehicle. There's quite a few things that students do with Leonet. Um, and the reason we ask you to make sure within that pre-orientation email to access Leonet to be able to do so prior to having access to orientation is because the same login you use for Leonet is the same login you will use for Moodle. So having that peace of mind, knowing that you can log into Leonet and knowing when you receive access to orientation, you're able to log into Moodle as well and you won't have any issues. The second email that comes with orientation is a three days out. It's a little bit, I don't want to say a warning, but it's kind of a heads up. Hey, by the way, you're going to get a three uh, in three days. You're going to get access to orientation. So be on the lookout for that email. So that's kind of the next step as far as the next the next tier of orientation. The third one is the orientation access via Moodle. You will receive an email after your three days heads up email. And then from there, you'll be able to log into Moodle via the link that is in that email. And then from there, you'll, it's a step-by-step -step process. With orientation, it is a module. So you open one tab and you complete that. You watch the videos. You may have to interact with um, a small quiz that says, did you read this? Yes or no. And then from there, it opens up the next section. 
So again, it's a step-by-step -step process. There are eight gold tabs, so make sure that you have eight total. And then at the very end, at the advising tab, you'll be able to choose your major. And then from there, you can make an appointment with your academic advisor. So I tell you all of these things, just kind of a, an overview for all of our students who, um, if you have access to orientation, a lot of students are kind of getting stuck within the module of I can't register or I can't, um, I'm sorry, I can't advise, get advised. Make sure you're, you're on the last tab of advising and then you choose the department of your major. You choose your major and then there's a link. Um, there's a few videos to watch within your major and then you would be able to set up an advising appointment. <laughs> So again, most of our students who have been fully admitted to the university have received access. If you were fully admitted months ago um, and you're like, wait, I don't have access yet or it's not in my personal email, making sure you check your spam account. If you still don't see that, you can reach out to your recruiter. I'll add that in the, um, a link in the comments. It's southeastern.edu slash recruiter. You would choose based off of your parish and your school and you can reach out to your recruiter and we can kind of see what's up, what's going on with that. Um, so students who have already received access to orientation, um, this is this module is something you can do at your own time. It doesn't have to be completed within one hour. Like as soon as you open it, you have to finish it. You do have a little bit of time. It generally takes students about two to three hours to complete in one sitting. I will tell you though, um, students who do have access, make sure you complete it soon. The earlier, the better. The earlier you complete your orientation step-by-step -step module, the earlier you'll be able to schedule an advising appointment with your academic advisor who will tell you exactly what classes you need for your major. And then also too, after you get advised, you'll then be able to register quicker as well. So the way that registration goes, a lot of students think that once they're advised, um, you'll actually be advised virtually through a Zoom um, meeting that you schedule on your time and date of your choice. Once you're advised with your advisor, you will either register the Tuesday or the Thursday after your advising appointment. And um, so a lot of students are saying, oh, I got my academic advisor, I'm finished. Okay, can I register? You guys will be able to register again, either that Tuesday or that Thursday after your advising appointment. So make sure um, you will also receive an email about registration when it comes to that time, either that Tuesday or Thursday to your personal email account. So make sure you're checking for that too. That link for like, it's a step three, uh, for registration is super, super important because it has more step-by-step. -step. In case you are a little bit lost with registering for classes, we do have that available for you as well. And there's also a chat feature. So if you're still really stuck, you can speak with someone within our admissions office who can help you through that process. Um, so again, uh, once you, and also once you're registered for classes, so you have gone through the orientation, you have been advised by your academic advisor and you've registered for your um, your classes for the fall semester. You will also, my kids who are registered, you guys will receive an email to your Southeastern webmail account. That is your orientation color group. So that color group connects you within other students within your color group, as well as your orientation leader. Use your orientation leader to your advantage. They are current students here at Southeastern. Um, they lead the orientation. Um, and so they're they are there for you. They are there to answer any questions that you may have. Um, you know, they may be able to tell you, you know, yeah, you can get from this hall to this hall within five minutes of walking or what's the best place to eat on campus. They are there for you. They are your best buds. They are your your their current students here. So they know how life at Southeastern is. So if you have any questions, making sure that you are connecting with them within their color group. Um, again, that email for your color group with orientation does go to your Southeastern webmail once you are registered for classes. So it'll, it'll go out within that, that next week or so once you're registered. And then um, making sure you add yourself to the, the color group and talk with your orientation leader. Um, if you guys have any questions or you just kind of want to check out our orientation um, web page, I'll add it into our comments as well. It's southeastern.edu slash orientation. It does have, you know, what should I be doing before I receive my orientation access or what are the next steps? And it kind of goes through all of that. So, um, so with that, that's pretty much the whole shebang for orientation. Um, I know a lot of our students, that's the biggest question that you guys are asking is, 
when do I get my orientation? I just got accepted. If you just recently got accepted um, within, you know, I would say probably May all the way until now, if you've just recently been fully admitted to the university, you guys, your orientation, I promise it is coming. It's coming within the next few weeks to your personal email account. Um, so making sure you're checking for that. Again, orientation emails come in three parts. One is a pre-orientation um, that just kind of gives you the layout of what's next, what you should be doing, confirming your major, uh, making sure you can log into Leonet. The next one is a heads up email. You have three days before you can start that um, orientation access, and then you will receive access to orientation via Moodle, which we will provide the link for. Um, again, to be able to log into Moodle, you have to be able to log into Leonet, and that is also included in the pre-orientation email. Email. So um, it is very imperative that you guys are reading your email about orientation as it has all the information there for you. Um, so, but like I said, you guys, the if you have access now, try to complete the orientation. Um, the sooner, the better you get advised earlier, you'll be able to register for classes. Um, and then that, that weight is lifted and then you can enjoy the rest of your summer. Um, so I'm going to add some links in after I'm done with this uh, live now. Um, but if you guys have any questions, you, I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to drop them in the comments. If not, you guys can still comment throughout the day, share it, whoever needs to see it. Um, we're here for you guys. So if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks.